What's up, Sak Passe? Ni hao. Welcome to PPC with me, DJ on the mic. Guys, we're here in uh, uh, Christmas land, Taipei, Taiwan, New Taipei. And we're talking about uh, cr our experience having Christmas in different countries. I've personally had Christmas in uh, the United States of America, my, uh, my home country, um, Vietnam, and uh, also Thailand. Each having kind of a unique uh, uh, way of experiencing Christmas. And, you know, in the United States, it's, there's uh, many people celebrate Christmas for religious reasons, but then also a lot of people love to uh, celebrate Christmas just to get gifts. <laughs> and so my family was kind of like half and half. Uh, having been raised uh, Christian, so we did have a religious aspect, but, but everybody loves to give and receive gifts as well. And so, you know, it's a time to oftentimes go back to, to see family. And in most parts of the United States, there's a lot of snow in the United States. Um, and here in Taiwan, I don't think I'm going to see any snow here in Taipei. Um, why did, does it snow at all? Up, maybe up north, north like all the, the way at the top. In the mountains, yes. But like okay. not all the time. Like I'm, I'm in the mountains, yes. Yeah. There's like snow mountains and there's like Hehuan San and there's Ali San, there's um oh, there's uh Yushan. They, they haven't seen snow in Taiwan. Uh, most of them have seen snow. They it's not they don't see when it's snowing. Yeah. But if you go to the mountains you can see the snow on the ground. So I can take you to places where you can see snow if you want to. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so um, I've also experienced Christmas in the United States. I'm from Maryland, which is close to Washington, D.C., for those that don't know. Um, I've also celebrated Christmas in Nigeria. I've actually celebrated Christmas in Taiwan last year. It was um, interesting. I had school on Christmas Day, which is, um, I've never, ever, ever had that happen to me before. So it was a new experience for me. And this year I will be working on Christmas Day. Just because, you know, Christmas is totally different here. It's more of like a commercial thing versus a spiritual, religious type of holiday. But yeah, like um, Niger um, Nigerian Christmas is mad. Like it's crazy. It's awesome. Like it's just like, I don't know. It's indescribable. Like it's so much fun. The food, dancing, drinks and everything. And then I've also experienced the holiday period when I went to Serbia which is amazing so um, Serbia and uh, as well uh, the Netherlands with my friend so yeah it's totally different from the US sure. um, you know I feel like in the US is more of a gift and you know for me at least Merry Christmas with Mr. Gigi on the mic and um, today I want to talk about Christmas in Haiti while they finished talking about Christmas in the States, in uh, Nigeria, and other places. But in Haiti, when we, we feel Christmas, you know, there is like a certain spirit of Christmas. When the time comes <laughs> and we start playing Christmas uh, rhythms, Christmas songs from maybe October, yeah. like wow. uh, end of September, and then everybody's enjoying it and do preparation for it. And then we feel like you don't need money to celebrate. Yes. You just need love, you know. You just need people around, and then people are drinking Christmas, you know, something like. <laughs> you know, it's you know, Christmas is not only about uh, you know um, having something or do the decor decoration, but it's the spirit, you know, the time of celebration, the time of the year, and being Christian in a Christian country like a Catholic country. Then it's a lot of fun to celebrate Christmas. Now, what about Taiwan? Taiwan is a place where people, I would say, they don't celebrate Christmas for belief, but they celebrate Christmas because their belief is a time to have fun. So um, now we are at a mall called Mega Mega City. Uh, so we are in the city of Banqiao, Taipei, and it's beautiful. You know, all around us, there are many people around us, and what they're doing, they are enjoying the time, and the decoration is beautiful. And this is Taiwan. That's right. And, uh, you know, in uh, also Vietnam, I spent last Christmas in Vietnam, and it was very interesting to be there because the Vietnamese place such a heavy emphasis on, uh, on family. And so being there around Christmas, everybody um, uh, was with their families, even though 
the, the country itself is not uh, primarily about the, the religion of it, but people do like to uh, uh, give gifts and um, people just come and, and spend time with their family because uh, the, the Vietnamese families can be uh, quite large and so everyone comes back to their, their local <laughs> province from, uh, from yeah. uh, their, their main cities. And uh, so that was my experience in, uh, in Vietnam. <laughs> All right. Now, that was, that was uh, USA, uh, Haiti, Taiwan, Vietnam, and Nigeria. So now what country is, is next? Okay, so I just want to add that Christmas in Nigeria is on another level. Like everybody is excited about the, we have people in the background, you know, <laughs> coming in our video. Okay. But people are excited about Christmas just because you get to wear that new Christmas dress, the new Christmas shoe, the socks and everything, the bow tie and everything. And I grew up in Nigeria up until the age of 12. So for us, it's all about the chicken. The yeah. fried rice, the jollof rice for, you know, my Nigerians out there that know, you know, what it is. So, it's exciting. And then in the Netherlands, I didn't necessarily, I wasn't there for Christmas, but I was there during, like, you know, the holiday periods. And Serbia, oh my gosh, like, they have a whole totally different, like, Saints Day and then, you know, the Christmas celebration. Totally different. Food, 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 food. Drinks, drinks, drinks. If you go to a party and you're not drunk at the party... You haven't partied at all, so yeah. Wow. And um, they the certain thing about Christmas in Haiti. Christmas start like, as I said, like at the end of the month of September, and then it never stops, you know, until January first, because we go we go with the spirit of like celebrating, and uh, right before Christmas we have like um, uh, vacation, and until January seventh to go to school because January 6th is already another holiday. January 2nd is also a holiday. So it's just like a lot of fun. And even though I'm not I'm not I'm not Catholic anymore, but there's something with Catholic Church on, on, on Christmas. They have a mass at midnight. Yeah. And people stay awake the whole watch, night and yeah. drinking and have fun. It's a lot of fun back in Haiti. Yeah. Now I want to ask you guys in uh, in Christmas in the States, what is the decoration like? Like, is it something like can compare to Taiwan or like, how is it like? It's Especially in New York first. Let's go. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. New York is, uh, you know, kind of, kind of quite well known for um, uh, having these really great decorations and uh, they have one of the biggest Christmas trees in the world um, and, and New York around the holidays. Uh, there's definitely uh, lots of uh, decoration uh, similar to here. In Taiwan um, and uh, tons of people go there specifically to see the, uh, the one of the biggest Christmas trees in the world and so families will oftentimes decorate their house um, in Christmas lights everybody each family will have their own Christmas tree in their house uh, to put presents under and they'll, they'll decorate the tree with uh, ornaments mm -hmm. and so it's definitely a big part of uh, the American tradition to, to decorate your own house and to decorate your neighborhood and streets yeah, uh, in, in a yeah. Christmas fashion. Yeah. Yeah, very big part. <laughs> um, I remember growing up in Maryland and, you know, also D.C. Well, D.C. is, um, you know, the, the nation's capital. So, of course, they have their own decorations, you know, celebratory <laughs> decorations and everything. But where I grew up, the neighborhood I grew up in, it was always kind of a competition between neighbors to see who had the biggest Christmas display, reindeer, Santa Claus, lights. And a lot of times, like, close to my neighborhood, we have people coming from out of the, you know, the city or whatever, coming in there just to see the light shows and take pictures and everything. I mean, Taiwan, you know, they, they're, they're, their game, Christmas game is really strong. However, I feel like where I grew up, close to where I grew up, it's like almost a competition. Like who wins the best light and, and everything. But the light bill kind of gets a little bit expensive, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Now, 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 talking about decoration, in Haiti, uh, people start decorating. And then even if they don't have money, but they will make the house different for sure. Mm -hmm. So whatever they have to use, even with paper or, or whatever they get, they will make the house beautiful. And uh, now one thing I want to talk about, while talking about decoration, we need to show the people what is decoration is like in Taiwan. So we're going to go around and show them what uh, it is in Taiwan. In Haiti, like, 
people mostly decorate their own houses and the street will be decorated by the, the whole community and the government will do some kind of stuff around as well. But in Taiwan, it's mostly on the street. Yeah. It's not, it's not it's like not in... It's not, it's not that at home. It's mostly on the street because uh, they celebrate Christmas in, in a way that... Uh, the business way of Christmas. And people make a lot of money on Christmas and because things sell faster on Christmas and everything goes faster, everybody is happy. But it's not in a way we celebrate Christmas in the States where most people are Christians or many people have Christian belief and uh, in Haiti as well, maybe in Nigeria the same. Yeah, but the business aspect of it in Asia, it's very, very big. Okay, so. To please the, the Westerners. Exactly. So now we're going to go and take some shots all around and then let people see uh, what is around and then how they decorate for Christmas here. Right. Maybe we might get someone to tell us how Christmas in Taiwan really is, a okay. Taiwanese. Okay, now uh, maybe I should go and get somebody who will talk. Okay, so let me try that. Let me try that. Um. <laughs> oh, those ladies that were taking pictures, they would have been perfect. <laughs> <笑>ね、ちょっと見て。ね、ちょっと見て。ね、ちょっと見て。ね、ちょっと見て。ね、ちょっと見て。ね、ちょっと見て。ね、ちょっと見て。ね、ちょっと見て。ね、ちょっと
后我们会有更好看的影片，所以你帮我按一个订阅，一个小铃铛，谢谢。You made it to the end of this video. I have a lot more you're gonna like to watch, so please subscribe and stay tuned.